morning, everybody. It is Saturday around 7.50 a.m. and I just woke up. It is going to be a, an exciting day today. Um, I'm going to walk you through my travel journal. Um, I have it all set up and ready to go. We leave tomorrow. I'm also gonna do like a little packing in this vlog to share that with you, as well as um, I have my best friend's baby shower today at 10.30. So I am going to have a really great day. Um, probably also going to run a couple errands, go to Sephora and all that kind of stuff and make sure I have all my travel things ready to go. Um, but right now I'm going to go work out and eat some breakfast. Yeah, so let's get rolling. <music> I am off to my best friend's baby shower. Um, it is Saturday morning. It's now around like 10 o'clock and um, the shower starts at 10.30. I hope you are all having a absolutely wonderful day. So it is Saturday. Tomorrow we'll be leaving for France, which I'm so excited about. If you are new to my channel, you should know that there is a Louis Vuitton giveaway happening. And uh, the last day for entry is the 20th of this month. And I will leave the video linked down below. I will be buying a Louis Vuitton small leather good while I'm in France and then giving it to one random person. All the entry details will be linked down below. And the only rule is you have to be subscribed and you have to leave a comment. So. so far this morning, before 10 a.m., I worked out for about an hour and a half. I did a 45-minute Peloton class and then about another 45 minutes of like a cardio slash weight train cross-training DVD. So feeling really good about that. This evening, I don't know what we have planned, but we have no food in the house, so we're going to have to go out to eat because I wasn't going to buy groceries or make anything for it to be tossed. So it's around one o'clock. I just finished up at my best friend's baby shower. It was such a good time. I got to see her sister who lives in Nashville who I haven't seen in a long time and a couple other friends who live in Chicago. And it was just really great to catch up with everyone and see everyone and also celebrate her first baby. Uh, I cannot wait for it to arrive. We don't know what it is going to be. It's going to be a surprise, but I'm definitely thinking it is a boy. But uh, yeah, we had a really great time. The place where the baby shower was, was absolutely beautiful. Her mom and sister did such a beautiful job putting it all together. And um, yeah, it was really great, but there's so much to do. Funny thing is, it was my first baby shower I've ever attended and I won the baby shower prize. They actually set up like emojis that were famous kids books and you had to write the title and I finished in a minute and 40 seconds and won. Uh, so I won a beautiful orchid that's right next to me in my cup holder. But um, yeah, it was just a really great, great time. But now it is time to get home. Well, first I have to stop at Sephora and get some traveling stuff. Also pick up a prescription for Steven. And then get packed and ready and organized for the trip. So that I feel really prepared for it. I'm actually going to walk you through like how I lay out my outfits and how I start thinking about packing. Um, and then also walk you through my travel journal, which is all set up and ready to go. I just have to film that for you. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited to do all of that. For Has anyone heard the new Selena Gomez song, It Ain't Me? It is quite good, and I'm not a Selena Gomez fan. Hey everyone, so I am back and in my uh, comfortable clothes. Um, and I ended up not going to Sephora. I'm gonna go later this evening just because when I went to the mall today, it was crazy. And I was just like, I'm not wasting my time. When I got home, I had this amazing package delivered um, and it is from the site iwhitney.com. She has a YouTube channel called The Garish Life and also that is her Instagram tag. Right now, this bracelet's all over my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, I'll leave my handle down below, but you definitely should because I have some fun over there. Um, I'm gonna show you guys this bracelet because it is absolutely beautiful. To say the least, this bracelet will be on the entire trip to Paris. 
But um, right now I'm just gonna set up my camera so that I can show you guys and walk you through how I set up my agenda PM to become my travel journal. So if you just give me a second, I will bring up my camera and show you. Let's go ahead and dive into how I use my Louis Vuitton PM agenda for my travel journal. And it will also be my travel wallet. So while I am traveling, I will keep the cards that I need in here, along with any travel documents in that little secretary folder. And then in my carry-on, I keep three card holders, my Chanel quilted card holder, my Louis Vuitton card holder, and my YSL card holder. And I will then use those on the day-to-day -day while I'm at my destination. But while I'm at the airport, I will use this as my main wallet. The first thing I have are Filofax top load envelopes. Right now I just have like this little journaling card that says snapshot in there. What I end up sticking in these as I travel is if we go to a museum, I'll put the ticket stub in there and different like little like trinkets that you collect as you go. Maybe it's a stamp, maybe it's a napkin from a really cute restaurant or anything like that. I will slide in these top envelope holders so that I have them and know exactly where they are. So when I come back and scrapbook, I can then permanently put them somewhere and keep them. So after those folders, I set up a page for each day and I always buy washi tape that aligns with where I'm going. So I got this really cute Paris washing tape. And what I do is I use my Polaroid Instax camera. Let me grab that so you can see what that looks like. So this is my Instax Instant Camera, and I believe it is by Fujifilm, yes. And it is just a Polaroid camera, and what I use this for is I try to track down like two photos that really like encompass the day. And what I will do is add them into these journaling pages. I have one of Bubba's <laughs> that I'm just gonna show you. So like I would just like cross lay this in here and then I travel with the Elmer's tape liner and I just tape line the back of it and adhere it in. And I allow myself to pick two photos for the day. So this might be one and then the other goes on the back somewhere. And it really makes you like isolate like your favorite moments. So that's what that black page is for. Then each day has a page. I don't wanna spend my entire trip journaling, so I keep it very simple. I write one morning highlight, one afternoon highlight, one evening highlight. I also always document what the weather is like and what my favorite meal for the day was. Then on the second day one page, I write a little bit larger description about the best moment of the day, which also typically ends up going along with one of the Polaroids. So I commit to two Polaroids a day and then logging that day. And that is really how I set it up for each day of the trip. So every trip has the pre-planned page and then the best moments page. So I, that's all that I keep in here. I have a little dashboard on the back to keep the pages protected. And then lastly, I stick my passport in the very end um, secretary pocket. And it fits in there perfectly. The Louis Vuitton passport holder is so expensive for what it is. And I just found that this works so well. And I keep a little pen in there for emergency cases. But the pens that I use the most are these micro line pens. They are on Amazon. I'll make sure I link them down below. What I like about them is they give you multiple colors. The tips are very fine, but with the black, they give you multiple tips. So you have a 0.25 millimeter, a 0.3, a 0.35, a 0.45, and a 0.5. I really, really like these pens. They have quickly become my favorites. So that is how I set up my Louis Vuitton PM agenda to be my little travel journal slash document holder slash wallet slash passport holder. It works really, really well for me and I hope that you find this really helpful. Hey everyone, so I am in our guest room right now and I am just planning out all my outfits. I'm going to talk through like how I go about thinking about what I'm going to pack and then kind of do some of the packing while we're talking because we leave tomorrow so better be ready. As you can see right now, everything is just laid out on my bed. I have my Keep All 55. I have my Burberry uh, rucksack that everyone saw me unbox on one of my vlogs. That's my carry-on. Well, those both are my carry-ons. And then just some clothes and outfits that I have laid out. And then down here is like my real suitcase. And isn't that so pretty? What's even better is the inside is like super well organized. 
I love this suitcase. One thing about me is I love fashion and I love to like style things and dress up but like as far as my color palette it's really neutral so in these moments of like where I have to pack for a long trip it really works out well for me because I find that just everything I pack goes. Um, when Steven and I go out we always have like one really nice dinner and then um, the rest are usually pretty casual and my style is very much like skinny jeans, skinny dress pants, cuffed and that looks good with dress shoes or sneakers and then an oversized oxford or sweater or t-shirt is just how i go so uh that style really works well for traveling because my color palette is neutral my style is casual and you'll see that um this will last me the whole week so i'm just going to talk through my outfits and kind of like what i planned and how they all go together and how i can mix and match them so for my pants i keep it really simple I'm actually only taking three pairs of pants with me. So I have a pair of skinny dark wash jeans. I can use these and dress them up at night and I can wear them throughout the day. Then I have like a pair of distressed jeans that I already have cuffed for everyday wear. And these will just go with anything. And then one pair of really nice dress pants. These are really nice from J. Crew. They're skinny so I can cuff them during the day and then wear them as regular dress pants also when we go out. Then I have a pair of just really great joggers. These are from Nordstrom's, I forget the brand, but they're just super comfortable. Then as far as shirts, I keep it even simpler. I have an oversized Ralph Lauren denim shirt that I love. My recent patch shirt that I made, and this is just a super cool shirt. And then I have an oversized white Oxford. And what I love about this is I can tuck it in and still belt it and throw a coat over it and it doesn't look oversized anymore. So then it works for a really nice dinner out. And then lastly, I don't know what this temperature will be like. So I just have two very neutral camel and like a mauve rose colored sweater. These are really oversized, but once again, um, I can dress it up if I want to at night and if I need to. And then I just have this really cool zipper black sweatshirt that I can wear. Lastly, uh, for the plane ride, I kind of just keep it really simple. I have my love trumps hate, the joggers, and then I will wear this big oversized black knit cardigan from the plane because it'll keep me warm or I can toss it off and I'll be really comfortable nonetheless. And then lastly, of course, I have my pajamas and then for shoes my dress shoes are actually downstairs that I'll be taking and they're like a saddle brown I love these Adidas Los Angeles shoes because they're a great tennis shoe for traveling and they still look kind of dressy when you cuff your pants and they just they just give a really cool vibe then I have my infamous copper shoes which go with everything and I love them for nights and then these are my favorites right now. They're these little tassel gold studded white shoes from ASOS. Super comfortable, super great. And then I also have this hat just to throw on days when your hair doesn't go the way you planned. I am so basic that as far as other t-shirts, I am taking, count them, three plain white t-shirts just to have. And then here are my coats. So I'm taking three coats. One is my drop shoulder camel coat. What I love about this one is it looks really dressy, but also looks super casual when you pair it with jeans because of the drop shoulder oversized look. Then I have this killer marble like bomber jacket with like really cool zipper details that I'm going to take for during the day. And then lastly, if it's rain and I really have to deal with some elements, I have my North Face coat, which you have all heard me talk about that I love. I got my packing cubes, and these right here are a must. Never put your shoes in your bag without them being covered, especially after the vacation's over. You never know what your shoes will get into. So I got these on Amazon for like $5, and I don't love the color but they serve the purpose and they stay in my bag. The next thing I wanna share with you is how I take all my accessories. So this is by the company Store Us and it is the best jewelry organizer. So I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there are pegs in here that you weave your necklaces through so they don't get tangled on one side. 
And then on the other side is a place to store bracelets, rings, jewelry, and smaller pieces like that. And I keep my necklaces pretty basic. So I'm taking this simple black stone on a silver chain. And then all you do is you lay your chain throughout the pegs. And there's no rhyme or reason. As long as it's around a peg, it won't get tangled. Then one of my favorite necklaces, I take an old Louis Vuitton lock that I had and just put it on a really long gold chain. And then once again, just weave your chain through the pegs. Then, I have this other really cool necklace and I love mixed metals, so it's just a mixed metal necklace. And I think that is it for this side. Because so I am going to take my Cartier Love Bracelet in silver. I don't wear this that often, um, but I thought for this trip I'd take it. So I'm going to put the screwdriver in. Then I'm also going to take my two Monica Venator bracelets. They'll fit really nicely in one of these small compartments. My aromatherapy with the lava beads and marble. Um, I'm going to put that in one of the pockets. I actually might be able to fit this Joppa Mala in here. We'll see if that fits when it closes. It might. Actually, that's not going to fit in there. And then lastly, I will be wearing my bracelet I just got from my Whitney because I love it too much to take it off. And that will be staying on me probably while I travel. So that is all that's going to go in there. This closes, everything is super secure and ready to go, and I'll just toss this in my keep all so it's on me the whole time. So my next tip is really based off of a lesson I had to learn the hard way. Steven and I went to London a few years ago, and my suitcase ended up in Nigeria. And I wasn't smart with how I used my carry-on, and I just put like overflow stuff in it. And didn't really think through. So yes, I have my... Burberry bag I'm taking, but in my Keep All 55, I make sure that I have two legitimate outfits in that bag, along with an extra pair of shoes, underwear, undershirt, stuff like that. Now, here is the trick for the Keep All. You must, must roll your items and start from each side and put like the bulkier items on the end and then keep rolling and putting lighter garments as you go and then stack on top. I'm gonna go ahead and start rolling and stuffing. And now I safely have two changes of clothes. If my luggage got uh, lost, I'd have two days worth of outfits before I'd have to buy some, which isn't a bad thing. So I am totally pumped because I am completely packed. So my keep all is all set and ready to go. My rucksack is ready. It was actually already packed up because I traveled this week for work, so my carry-on um, and that little travel bag was already taken care of and then all set so tomorrow morning I'll just throw on my airplane outfit and I will be set to go. The last thing I'm going to throw on my keep all is my Fendi S charm. Um, so I'm going to toss that on my bag and then I'm ready. The rest of the night, uh, Stephen left to go pick up some dinner. We're just going to have some Indian food tonight and then I'm going to take a bath and enjoy it and try to get some rest. Actually, I'll probably try to stay up all night so I sleep on the plane. But I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I hope that you found some tips that are, will be helpful. I can't wait to vlog for all of you in Paris and Versailles. I also cannot wait to pick up that small leather good and give it away. Once again, all the details for the Louis Vuitton giveaway will be down below. I will leave this video like I leave all of my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>